Hey guys. Okay, so I wanna do an update on everything that I've been working on. Um, so when I first started this journey, I went down to Ameris Bank, which was my bank, and started asking questions about the remittance side and the coupons and all that kind of stuff, right? Well, at that time, I really didn't have a lot of understanding of what I was doing. And I really didn't know like certain words that I was supposed to say or even who I was really supposed to ask for. So how I've grown. But um, so this time when I went back, I knew what to ask for and I knew who to ask for. So it does come down to you guys are going to have to do your own due diligence. And I know you'll hear everybody say that, but it is, it's true. You're going to have to learn the terminologies and learn how to put together or make up what you want to ask. Like even before I go somewhere, just cause I know how I am because I get so like super anxious on just the task at hand. Um, I'll write down what I'm going to ask, who I'm going to ask for. And then in my car, right before I go in, I just, I kind of say it to myself, you know, like, okay, this is what you're doing. This is what you're going in there for. And this is what we're trying to like accomplish. This is what we're trying to, what's our goal? You know, at the end of this, what is our goal? So yesterday my goal was to go to Ameris and then also, um, Bank of America to ask the same questions because I do know that there is a private side. There is a private side and then there is a public side. I've been saying that for a year now. And I do think that it has everything to do with the, the transfer of wealth that is going on um, currently. Like there, whatever, whatever storyline that you have right now, there is another one that is going along parallel to yours. So Yesterday, I went into Ameris. I'm actually here in McDonough. And so if you're in McDonough, this is who you would ask for. But she is at two different branches, which makes me wonder if she has like a fiduciary responsibility to me because she's a floater or like does she, um, okay, let me backtrack. When I went in and I talked to her and I asked her about securities and I asked her, you know, um, I want to bring in my securities. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm filling them out properly. I want to make sure that I don't damage uh, the bond because the top portion of your billing statement is a bond. So the top portion is a bond and then the bottom por portion of it, which would be like your remittance coupon, that's the portion that you think each month that you owe. You don't. That is actually the interest that should be returned to you but we've been so indoctrinated to think that that's how we are to pay our bills that we just we pay our bills and we send it back well all of that again is interest so yesterday when i went in i talked to a lady named genie genie g-e-n-i genie -E reed and um she is the market manager there and so I, while i was talking to her she knew she knew what i was talking about she Cause I asked her, I said, you know, I just don't want to damage the bond and I want to make sure that I'm doing this properly. And does it need like an instruction letter? Da, 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 da. And she said, yes. So I was like, okay, thank you. That's exciting. She told me because at then at that point, when, once I started to get like that validation, then I'm like, okay, who, who, you know, like what else do I need to say to her? Because I guess I was just excited that she actually knew what I was talking about. So I said, okay, I said, like, you know that it, I'm talking about like the statement that comes to our house, which would be considered a bill. Like, I wanna know where I need to turn these into. And she said, mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. So I said, so do I just bring them in? Can I do them monthly or do you want them quarterly? Or like, you know, what, what do I need to do um, to get these to you? Because then at this point, you're going to turn around and like, you're gonna send them to the treasury. Is this correct? So. It's not like I was acting stupid because I, I <laughs> because I'm not stupid. I just, I was questioning like her, like, okay, is this right? Am I, what I'm thinking, is that correct, right? And she said, yes. Um, some of the questions she could not answer because she said that she does not work on that side of the bank anymore, which is the private side I am assuming. 
because now she's on this side working with the public, you know, like the tellers, and then you have the one little fiduciary person that, um, you know, would deal in securities and that kind of stuff. So, uh, she sent me up to a lady named Michelle Higgins. And when I spoke to her, same, same, she ended up calling me and didn't know anything that I was talking about. Now I understand on the private side that I'm sure that they protect that or they want to make sure that you know what you're talking about. But I did ask the same thing and, and I kind of phrased it as I did with Jeannie that, you know, like the, the, the bill that comes to your house, like, do you need me to print that off on bond paper? You know, I'm like, I'm trying to like, is this right? <laughs> Tell me, you know? And Michelle is actually the wealth advisor for um, Ameris too. So Jeannie, Jeannie said that she must, I guess she was on the private side at one time and now she's not back on the public side. So that's why she couldn't talk to me, but, but then she gave me Michelle Higgins number and it kind of fell squash because Michelle just, I don't know, everything that I asked, asked same, same, like I did with Jeannie, Michelle didn't understand what I was saying. So I'm like, whatever no, I, I call bullshit because if the, if the lady in the office is like going over heads and giving me to you and you don't know what I'm talking about, I, I, I don't know, I call BS. But so today what I did was come up with a template, a cover letter of, of instruction at this point because essentially what I've done is now put Jeannie and Michelle both on notice that I know and I want to switch over to you know the private side I do have my TDA my fidelity um, full faith and credit like all the things so just like with the TDA I'm presenting these this stuff to them and they may need you know you may need to verify things or authorize whatever but I'm doing the same thing now with a public bank and um, kind of getting pushed back so I mean I expect it again I you know they're going to protect that that side um, but once once you get your your template right and you ask for your things and it's sealed like you can't they're not gonna be able to do anything except allow that you know because they have a fiduciary responsibility to you to do so so um, we have a lot of things in store for you guys the last like couple weeks have just been such a whirlwind but a very exciting whirlwind because I've met so many just beautiful people um, all on this path of not only finding themselves but also finding our generational inheritance and bringing it to you guys um, it is such a transfer of wealth it's exciting um, I've been down these rabbit holes for years now um, several years several years I'd say probably 2017 is when I started to like like what is this you know start to put pieces together but I think come 2019 2020 is when it was like 2020 vision my eyes are open and um, I understand this I understood very much so of what Jasara Nasara was but there was one missing component that I, I couldn't find uh, I couldn't I, I didn't understand like how this would have went with that right so I like puzzle pieces and I like to find them, you know, down the rabbit holes and then come up with an overall look of what's going on. Um, and I couldn't seem to find that one last puzzle piece. I found it. <laughs> I found it because think about this. If the banks don't have the money, right? You've heard all of this. The banks don't have the money. And then you've heard the government don't have the money. All they're doing is co continuing to print. They're printing debt with de you can't You can't pay debt with a debt right so like take that off the table that's done so who has the money where's this wealth coming from and um i figured out that it was the the sestake trust and some of the ucc codes putting this in place for us saying that you know all bills are prepaid and i know that sounds crazy and even whenever i came across that i was like no you know but i've been such a tinfoil hat wearer that I'm like, okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna pocket this <laughs> because this could be a possibility that maybe, you know, obviously when you start to wake up, it's almost like you see the lies around you. You see the lies with the food. You see the lies with pharmaceutical, with um, our schooling system. Our schooling system is set up very much like prison, <laughs> you know, or even jail. 
you know, same, same things. You guys have seen it. Um, so once you start to realize like all of this structure was man-made and created out of greed and ego and you can see it and then now you're like, okay, well, all these other little puzzle pieces, it goes together nicely and no wonder we've been indoctrinated. It works out very much to benefit them and they can do whatever they want to do, but then what is my position in this? And a lot of that, what is my position came from the self healing and working on myself and doing shadow work of what is my position in this relationship with this person, right? Cause when you're healing, you're going around the table and you're looking at all the different, you know, character types, character roles, um, just all the things, right? So when you come to the conclusion of, Oh, okay, well, what is the character role of the government or what is the character role of, uh, pharmaceuticals to keep us down. It's like pharmaceutical things. You can get one prescription, but you're going to have to have two other ones to counter offset this one. I don't really feel like it's helping you. I feel like it's, <laughs> I feel like it's going in a circle where it's like, you're not, you're not healing the problem or, or, or the root cause of whatever it is. So in all of this, that's what I was looking for was the keys to how does this generational wealth come how, do, how how does this how does this appear in in society you know because we see the banks going down we see the cfos and all these people stepping down great cool but how does that work in my reality right then i came across these codes then i came across like coach mt on uh it's coach mt 4000 on youtube um also miss jackson mz jackson uh, Chris Hauser, H-A-U-S-E-R, um, Jarrett Realty Investors, uh, dot com is really good. It's Jarrett, J-A-R-R-E-T-T -T, Investors, Jarrett Realty Investors dot com. Um, their first page explains a lot of what's going on currently. I think they're on the same page as far as they know what the white hats, like if you say certain terminology like white hats or adrenochrome or, you know, things like that. They know people that have been down that rabbit hole for a while they know you know so just remember that all of this is crumbling around us but there is a totally there's there's a parallel reality that is set in place for us that you know it's almost like think of it as like a net right so if you have that expect that to like be our backup because you hear about like the banking system and things like that going down you, you Remember that there's QFS, you have XRP, you have all these other like little things. Um, there are a lot of people that are going to their banks and not being able to withdraw money. Um, sometimes I think that's a glitch. Sometimes I think that that's a like a, a warning because it kind of like kicked them back out or whatnot. Um, you know, there are going to be glitches, but again, there's a parallel reality that's going on like right next to us. Um, in all of this, if you're looking for your funds, consider them credits um, because that's what you're working off primarily. I did get an address book to be able to put all of my addresses in. Hey Google, cancel. Sorry. Um, I did get this address book because I wanted to be able to keep track of passwords, uh, TDA accounts, uh, fidelity accounts you know, um, things, things that I'm going to be able to need to get to quickly <laughs> so that I can get into certain accounts, even IRS, um, you know, addresses and stuff like that. The IRS has countless address and then countless telephone numbers and all that kind of stuff. So you need to, once you really get like down this rabbit hole, passwords, uh, certain emails, who to contact, uh, indentured trustees, you can find a lot of that stuff on Google but just like everything, if you've been down the rabbit holes, those rabbit holes are a little deeper. So you may want to try like the, the 8K form, the 10K form, um, SEC. If you, if you pull that up, make sure that you say like Verizon Wireless or you can say Celco Group um, SEC filings. And um, it'll come up with the indentured. It'll actually tell you about the what to do with the remittance form and that kind of stuff. So... Again, these rabbit holes, it's cool. You can get in them, but where the meat and the gravy is gonna be is gonna be much deep, like deeper into that rabbit hole. Um, Cause most of the people like they're saying, oh, well I want my money. 
I get that everybody does, but there's so many little steps <laughs> that you have to go through first, you know, and then people are like, well, which ones, you know, educate, educate, because you're going to know where to start. You're, I mean, I can talk to you till I'm blue in the face, but I don't know what your, your, I don't want to say issue or your problem or like your end goal is. I, I don't know what that is. Um, so you're going to have to like follow your intuition, follow your heart. What, what do you think I should work on and ask your guides, ask, ask source, ask God. And also during this time, ask for, um, you know, God consciousness, whatever you, whatever you think that that is, ask that to bring in your tribe, call in your tribe, people of like mind, people that are also working on this kind of stuff, people that are good for you, not people that are going to take from you and ego and greed and all that kind of stuff. You want positive people through this process too, you know, cause it does get long and grueling sometimes when you're down rabbit holes and you're really looking for something and you're so close, <laughs> so close. And you're just like, I just need one more piece of the puzzle. But remember in all of this and you guys that are avid rabbit hole jumpers, um, you know, you have to take time out for yourself and like back up a little bit and you know, so I did just put up a TikTok that showed how I got into my fidelity account. You will need a fidelity. You will also need a TD, TDA account. Um, those are crucial to being able to access this. So let's say that you're, you're online and you're following content creators, write that kind of stuff down is what I say, you know, golden. And I say that you need a TDA and maybe you don't. Okay. Well then maybe you don't, you know, again, I don't know what your, your end goal is. I don't, I don't know what you're doing. You know, some people say, um, well, do you need to be an SPC or do you need to have an authenticated birth certificate? Essentially, yes, that would be nice. But do you need that? No, you can still do all of this as far as your payments and your coupons and all that kind of stuff. You can do all of that without any of this other stuff. Okay, that's what you're entitled to, right? That, that was the key that I needed. How do we transfer the wealth? How do, we, how do we level the playing field? You guys have heard Trump so, say that several times. I don't know if maybe Trump said it, but I know in the rabbit holes, they're like, trust the process. It's gonna level the playing field. It's gonna level the, you know, everybody's gonna be on one page, right? Well, that's true if you, if you think about like the um, assesticate trust. Sorry, if you have a cystic, I don't even want to say if, because if you do have a birth certificate and a social, then you have that, 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 that there is a, a million dollar bond that was put onto your birth certificate. That birth certificate is also a bond. If you look at it, you're going to notice the, uh, the bond number, the QCIP number at the top of it. And then even on your, your, um, social security card, you're going to notice a, the number on the front of it is the account number and then the number on the back of it is um some people say it's a QCIP number um some people say that it's um a routing number it'll be red and there'll be a number or i'm sorry a letter in front of it typically that letter is designated to uh like a federal reserve like per, per one <laughs> A federal reserve, one particular one around, I think there's what, 12, 13? If there's 13, that would make sense because it's Masonic. Go figure. Again, it all comes back to signs, symbols, synchronicities, um, number sequence, uh, just all that kind of stuff. If you even start to look at addresses of these big companies, I don't even say companies, like government, um, or even look at the coordinates, you know, it, it all there's reason for everything. So you guys, we are doing lives. Um, hold on. We're doing Tuesday at seven o'clock PM Eastern standard time. I'm in Georgia and we're going live on TikTok. That is, um, Tanika and that's Tanika Greenwood. Um, why is my throat closing? Sorry. It's Tanika Greenwood, but, uh, on her TikTok, it's Tanika pink. And then um, Elena, A-L-A-N-A. -A -A, and then her last name is, I want to say D-I-E-K-H-O-F-F. -F, maybe. Sorry. Um, but we're going live. And I do have a YouTube channel. And then also my Pinterest. Pinterest has really like, it's really pulling through. Because people will ask for 
a template and I've been giving my templates or I've been like saying like here here's where you can find that Pinterest had a bunch of them so on my Pinterest if you go there um, just look up my name l-e-i-g-h last name is Daniel make sure it's spelled right because there are a lot of people out there that are just making false accounts fake accounts of me um, stealing my videos and then putting them up as if it's me so make sure that it is spelled properly even if it's Libra moon 73 L-I-B-R-A, Moon, M-O-O-N. There's no extra letters, nothing, nothing like that. So it's Libra Moon 73. And if you can't find me, you can always do Lee Daniel 73, and then you should be able to find me. But we're getting it out there. We are figuring it out because it is quite the uh, a wealth transfer. And I think it's exciting. And the more people that come together... And the more people that just share what they've done, like I spoke to a gentleman this morning that is actually on the private side, which is very exciting because I know of people, but now, you know, like I've actually, I'm starting to talk to people that actually have, um, that are on the private side. So it gives me hope y'all. It gives me hope. So I love you guys. This is just a quick update. Um, from here, from Facebook, I'm going to download it and then upload it to my YouTube channel. But you guys ask questions. That's how we learn, okay? I know some of you guys have maybe throat chakra problems or maybe, you know, maybe you're be you feel like you're better seen than heard or maybe you feel like you have a stupid question. I don't care. Answer it. I because that's how you learn, right? That's how you're going to get that little piece that may be the piece that you're looking for but you're scared to ask for it or you're scared to just ask, okay? I love you guys and you know I will always meet you on the flip side.